as I see it, people with autism are, are people who've had sort of a, a double whammy. They're language impaired, and it's much harder to learn uh, the extremely, extremely complex rules of social interaction with a language impairment. But they're not just language impaired, they're socially impaired, you know, profoundly socially impaired. The, the idea is not just to teach skills so then these people will become more competent, but to teach skills that will be pivotal in the sense that they'll engage in more interactions and that some of these will lead to um, opportunities for people to get to know them and get to know the people that are there underneath the, the awkwardness and come to value them and maybe lead to friendships because that's, that's a big gap in the lives of many, most of these people. The character is of a young man in his mid-twenties who's a part-time student, works part-time, and the user of the program meets him at a party. And they just make introductory conversation, getting to know each other, and they can talk about school or they can talk about work. I just lit up with the potential application of this for autism. I was tremendously excited. And, um, and I still am, um, and, and the more so since I've um, looked over the results of, you know, that we got and as we interviewed uh, the uh, young adults with um, autistic disorder who uh, tried the prototype. One young man was uh, particularly cute. I mean, he said that just using the simulation had helped him. He felt like he could have better conversations and longer conversations with his girlfriend now. In terms of realism, people readily talked about the simulated character as a person. Um, and um, when asked if um, they found him realistic, they, they agreed. And when asked if they thought he was a nice guy, they talked about him as being a nice guy. One young man said, oh yeah, I, I really liked it. He likes pizza and The Simpsons just like me. On Wednesday night is half price pizza night. The idea is that we hope it would in improve their confidence besides improving their skills so that they would get into conversations more. Social skills can mean a lot of different things. I mean, there are other kinds of social skill impairments from the ones that people with ASD have. There are social skill impairments that are um, associated with a lot of psychiatric disorders, even if people had a typical developmental history. So they're not autistic, but maybe they've had schizophrenia. Um, uh, particularly, they're, they're socially impaired, and they could benefit from something like this. I really, really enjoyed working with people at Submersion. It's just, I've, you know, one of my ideals has always been to work as part of a great team and I've, I've enjoyed having that experience.